Welcome to episode 13 of Game Dev. In this episode, we're just going to be continuing on with the sprite class here, and we're actually going to be creating our sprites today. Okay, uh, the sprite class, let's get that set up before we do our render function. It's going to be pretty easy. Double X, Y, Z. We'll have double uh, X, O, and Y, O for the offsets. We'll have double width height of the sprite. Double texture coordinates, U and V and double RGB. And finally, uh, we'll have the index and the float32 list, data new float32 list, and sprite dot, sprites dot floats per vertex times four, because we will need four vertexes, vertices for this. Okay, now the constructor sprite and we'll say this dot x will just set all of these. Z this dot xo this dot io this dot this dot hi this dot u this dot v this dot this dot this dot v. Okay, so there's that all set, and then we'll just go data dot set all. The index is going to be zero, and we're going to say. This is where we set the actual um, vertices here, so we'll say x, y, z, just send those in. Say x, o plus zero, just for the first x offset, and y, o plus zero for the second. Now we got u, because now we need texture coordinates, so we'll do u plus zero, just do plus zero point. U plus zero, and then we'll do v plus h, then we just go rgb. That's the first vertex. Now we go x, y, z again for the coordinate. Now the offset this time is going to be x, o plus width and y, o plus zero. And then we go is it u plus width and then e plus h again and r, g, b. x, y, z again. Now this x offset is going to be plus width. It's going to Get these in. It's kind of ugly when they're not. Okay, and now we go the YF slot plus H this time, and now U plus W again, and V plus zero, and then RGB. And the last one, XYZ, X plus zero, XO plus zero, and YO plus height, and then U plus zero and v plus h all on its own no v plus zero we already have the v plus h so v plus zero rgb okay so these this is the actual vertices uh, this first second third fourth vertex same as we did before it's just copied out into its new function now so last up we need a render function here and we will render off of the matrix four again model matrix okay and here we'll go shader.use Typing user, I don't know why. Uh, we will do, let's just go and steal that from the quadrant as well. We will set these. Uh, I actually kind of am feeling a little lazy, so we're gonna take that post location and the other location and just set them outside of here. Uh, these P matrix and cam matrix. Since they are pertinent towards the whole of the game, we're gonna set it right here. The matrix for P matrix. Matrix or cam matrix, just so we don't have to keep setting it over and over and over again. I didn't do okay, and then when we actually set it here, uh, we're gonna take that out and stick it in the start function. Same E matrix and cam matrix. Okay, we actually don't really need that. Okay, just so we don't have to keep copying that over and over again. So that'll set those two there. Uh, next up, we need to set the model matrix. Let's do that. Model matrix, which I was calling MV, for, so for the sake of continuity, let's continue using MV. Uh, now we go gl.draw elements. 
I think that's all. We'll do gl.triangles again. That's what we're drawing in. Uh, the length is sprites.length times 6. The type is going to be gl.unsigned short, just as it was. And the offset 0. So that should be that. See you guys next episode when we actually finalize this up, finish the cleanup on uh, all the old co code that we had set up still, and actually finish the rendering on the uh, sprite sheet. We'll see you guys then, and have a good day.